Sunday morning with not one of them on call, six Yorkshire vets and some dogs <laughs> have met up for a ramble in a place that inspired a folk song. I'm about to embark on my tour guide oh, uh, phase of the day. Oh. So this is Il Climor. Strongly recommended that you come here with a hat on. It's well advised, only Shona's got a hat on, but uh, the rest of us are bar at, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> And over there we've got the very famous cow and calf. The cow is the big bit of rock and the calf obviously is a little bit of rock. Well, she looks as like if she's multi suckling to me. I, <laughs> <it's old. laughs> I spent many a sunny and sometimes rainy weekend up here, um, running and orienteering and camping and sleeping in the bracken. Hopefully we won't be sleeping in the bracken tonight. <laughs> Hopefully not, no. So what do you reckon, Peter? I think it's very picturesque. I think there's a lovely atmosphere up here, isn't there? And yeah, where could you be anywhere better, eh? We could be in that bit where it's more sunny. <laughs> yeah, that would be quite good. Oh, you want everything, don't you? <laughs> it's very optimistic. I can see an outdoor swimming pool down there as well. <laughs> I think that's there to toughen the southerners up when they come up here. Well, know. I brought my trunks. <laughs> <laughs> come on, dogs. Where's the ball, Isla? Come on, vets. It's not raining, but the wind's coming horizontally. I reckon we'd call this a fairly decent day's weather in Yorkshire. Oh, if I, if I got a carving up here, I think I'd be winning the lottery, you know? <laughs> I'm dry. They're loving this, having a good run around. This is what a proper dog's life, isn't it? Stuff oh, like yeah, this. yeah. Well, this is new territory to me. I've not been uh, to Ilkley Moor before. Well, you can uh, tell, Peter, because you've got your app. Oh, it'll clean more about time. I know, you've got to listen to the words. Well, I can yeah. see why you brought yours now. I'm worried it's going to blow off in a minute. Well, you're very wise. I've got to say, I, I do admire your hat. Thanks, Peter, nice. yeah. I think I'm going to get one just like yours. Oh, no, you can't cough it. <laughs> so is this the spot for climbing, then? This is one of the spots for climbing, yeah. This is the quarry, but there's some really good routes up there, quite steep. It's one of the great things about Yorkshire is there's always fantastic places like this that you haven't had time to see yet. Everywhere I go is it's kind of a new experience. I had this on my list of places I wanted to go to. I don't see much of a resemblance to a cow and a calf, if I'm honest. There's a, they've both got a crevice at the back. Maybe that's the only uh, similarity between them. Have you ever done any climbing? No. no I haven't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't fancy that. I'm not good with heights now. It's like being in the Grand Canyon up here. Well, it's, it's like the Yorkshire's version of the Grand Canyon, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get up. Here we are. Good boy. At the top. You know, I've never been up here in my life. It's brilliant, isn't it? It is. Me and David thought ahead and we brought provisions, so we're cracking out the tea. Just concentrate, because I've got visions of tea. This is a bad place to pour tea, folks. Yeah. It's lovely to get together. We don't get a chance to do it very often, do yeah, we? Yeah. And uh, so it's special when we do, really. Well, pass that one on to Julian. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love being up on the moors, and uh, especially with some good friends as well. It's lovely. <laughs> oh, it's cold. David, when did you make this? <laughs> Two weeks last, ago. Last week, I think. <laughs> That's one of the worst cups of tea I think I've ever had. <laughs> How's the new place going? Good, yeah, good. yeah, yeah, it's going well. It's a bit of a sort of change of scenery, but that's always quite a good thing, isn't it? As, as you know, it's well, nice to it is. try new things. Well, you've got to do, haven't you, sometimes? You just don't know which way life's going to take you at times, do you? It's a funny old business. It's, it's certainly hard to predict what's going to happen next. Yeah. Maybe that's part of the spice of life, really. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I like our job, really, the variety of veterinary work. And I think that's what we both enjoyed over the years, isn't it, really? When that phone rings, not knowing what's going to come in next. And that's part of the charm, isn't it? Oh, definitely, yeah. This is a, a brilliant view, because, it I mean, it's a bit like Sutton Bank. It's very all-encompassing. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And wild as well. Wild. I think the weather's gentler in North Yorkshire, isn't it? <laughs> yes. There's just something about these open spaces in Yorkshire that just lift you, don't they? Lift your spirits. Not a bad place for a brew. Well, Not a can't. bad place for a brew, but a bad brew, I would say. <laughs> Sansa likes it. Sansa's quite keen on it. Not past my taste I'll test. I'll tell you what, Julie, we can't trust these lads from West Yorkshire. We, can't, because we, can't. Of the no, we, we definitely we. can't. We'll no. bring our own. We'll bring our own next time. <laughs> this is slander. <laughs> <laughs>